So this week, I have a question for everyone. And the question is, what are you waiting for? Like, what are you waiting for to do whatever it is that you want to do to accomplish whatever goal, to take whatever step towards getting whatever it is that you want to have? Like, what are you waiting for? You know, and as I was thinking uh, a few minutes ago as to what I was going to talk about today, I... um. I was reminded of a conversation that I had earlier on today with a a friend of mine. And uh, essentially, I had uh, mailed the friend uh, a couple copies of my book. And on a plane ride back home, he was visiting the United States. And uh, he ended up, I, I think I gave him like three copies of my book and he ended up giving one copy to his mom. And he was just, uh, he, he messaged me on Facebook when he got back to the country that he was from. And he was telling me that um, his mom loved my book. He was just raving on and on about how his mom really liked my book and whatnot. And then, so we were just kind of talking about, I, you know, and he had, he had said that, you know, it's, it's really short and sweet and to the point. I was like, yeah, you know, I think that that's the problem why a lot of people aren't in to reading is because most books, they put so much fluff. They feel that in order for the book to be able to sell for um, whatever it is that they want to sell it for, they have to add all this fluff in there. And, you know, whatever, they, they make the book so long. And, and, and then with my book, I just try to make it like to the point, you know, I, I, I just gave you meat. There was no filler in there. It was just like straight meat. And uh, so we were talking about that for a little while. And he was just telling me like how he always wanted to to write. And he was like, even when he was in grade school, a lot of people, you know, when uh, the teachers would ask, what is it that you want to be when you grow up? And everybody would say everything else. He always said he wanted to be an author. And the way that he was saying it, it was just like, you know, and, and I, I'm not sure exactly how old he is, but I'd probably have to say he might be in his late 20s or early 30s. But he just made it sound as like, wow, that was like a pipe dream and there's no way that I could do that. And I said, well, why can't you start right now? You know, why couldn't why couldn't you still become an author? You know, because he, he was like he always wanted to become an author. I said, like, well, why why you can't do it? And he really couldn't give me any solid reason as to why he couldn't do it. And, you know, at first he started to say, well, you know, he'd have to kind of put some thought thought into it and think about what it is that he wanted to write. You know, just, you know, uh, coming up with a lot of excuses. I mean, which most people do as well. And I'm sure at some point in time I would have done the same thing myself. But I was like, well, why, you know, why can't you do it? You know, all you need to do is just make up your mind that you're just going to start. And then just write, you know, just commit to writing one page a day. You know, if you want to write a novel, all you got to do is write one page a day. If you could commit to writing one page a day inside of a year, you'd have over 300 and some pages. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you would have a novel inside of a year. And that's only if you do one page a day, you know, so that's not even going to take into account the days that you might feel really inspired and do a little bit more than one page, you know. So let's just say that like some days you do two pages and then some days, you know, um, you only do one, you know, you're still going to finish the book in less than a year, you know. So, you you know, for all of you, and there's a lot of people that feel they have a book in them or feel that they have a story that they want to share with people. All it takes is, you know, one page a day. And and, and definitely if you're going to write like even a, a memoir or some sort of a self-help book, it's it doesn't even need to be 300 pages. So you definitely can finish the book inside of a year, you know. But that's just a classic example of, you know, we could sit here and come up with all these different reasons and excuses as to why we don't do whatever it is that we want to do. And if we look at it like in the whole, so I, I can imagine like somebody thinking to themselves like, wow, you know, um, they get, let's say, one of these books right here. And they're like, man, there's no way that I can write a book like this. Look at all these pages. And yeah, if you look at it, you know, or even take like this book. This Clive Davis book that I haven't read yet, <laughs> but um, you take you take a book like this that has like super you know a whole bunch of pages. This book has like four hundred pages or something like that, and and you take something like this, and and you look at the finished product, and then it's easy for you to say. Um, Man, there's no way that I can get that done. But you don't have to look at it like that. All you have to do is say, you know what? I'm just gonna write one of these pages today. Like I can do this. This is like what, maybe 100, 200 words. I can do that, you know, and I can commit to doing that every single day. And I guarantee you that if you commit to doing it every day, 
you know, at some point in time, like w inside of a year, you're going to be finished writing your book. You know, and I've and I've told that to many people, and then I've had people that actually have taken my advice, right? Which sometimes feels rare to me. But I've had people that have actually taken my advice and then actually gotten their book done and then reached back out to me like Coach Mark, I took your advice and I got my book done, you know? I'm gonna share with you another example. I was I took my car, one of my cars to um to the body shop a couple weeks ago. When was this? Yeah, this was a couple weeks ago. I had left it at the body shop, and um, the young lady that was working um, behind the counter was talking to me. She asked me what I did, and I was telling her a little bit about what I do and, and whatnot, and, and she was telling me about an organization that she wanted to start to help um, uh, kids uh, do, I don't remember exactly what it was. It was like um, help kids, train them on how to play instruments or do something, right? And, and I was like, well, how long have you been working on it? She was like, three and a half years. She's like, well, I'm like, well, where are you at in the process? Well, I'm still working on getting my uh, incorporation papers. And I'm like, it was three and a half years, you know? So I sat down. So she, you know, she gave me the idea. And within like five minutes, I gave her her whole her whole plan to get started within the next week, within the next seven days, you know? I was like, look, all that other stuff that you're trying to do, you, don't worry about all of that first. Like getting the business plan and then getting your, like that, all that stuff we use as excuses, right? We just use those as, as a, well, I can't really start yet because I don't have the business plan. But no, I can't start yet because I need to get the logo first. And no, I can't stop. Man, I start, you know how many million, I've started several million dollar businesses with no logo, no business plan, no incorporation, no nothing, right? I just made my mind that I was going to start it and I just went ahead and started it, right? And we don't need all those extra things that you think that you need in order to get started. All you got to do is just get started, you know, figure out what's the first step that I need to take and go ahead and take that first step. So I told this young lady, like, look, you got an organization where you're going to be bringing people in to train these kids. I don't remember if it was like doing art or, or playing instruments or whatever it is. But it's like, look, all you need is three things. All you need is A, the person who's going to do the training. B, you need the kids. And C, you need the venue to teach them. That's all you need to get started. You don't need no logo. You don't need no um, business plan. You don't need none of that stuff, right? And I was like, do you know people that will come in and, and help train these kids, right? Uh, that will work with you? She's like, yeah, absolutely. I was like, okay. Then do you know kids that, that, that need this or, or, or would appreciate this service and would want um, your help or want to be trained in, in whatever it was, whether it was drawing or playing instrument? She was like, absolutely. I was like, all right. And then if you need a venue, all you have to do is go to the pub public library, whatever um, city that, that you're a resident of will, um, you know, if you go to the public library in that area or anywhere in that, in that, not even just city, in that county, they'll give you a library room for free. Right. So and then you so you don't even necessarily have to be stuck to one place, because when I did my library tour earlier this year, I, I did it at least six, seven, eight different locations. Right. And I didn't pay anything at all for the rooms. Right. So you can go ahead and get started. That I mean, that kind of even, you know, one of the things that I told myself at the beginning of this year was that I wanted to um, increase the amount of times that I speak. So I didn't sit there. I didn't sit at home and by my phone and wait for people to call me to to ask me to come and speak or, or to pay me to come and speak. No, I said, you know what? I'm going to create my, because it wasn't necessarily about money for me. It was just more about getting out there and getting that practice. So I said, I'm going to sit down and um, create my own events, which I did, and go out there and speak. If I want to speak, I just go out there and speak. So I don't, you know, I, I really try not to look for any sort of excuses to go ahead and get started in doing anything. Right. If we want all excuses in the world, trust me, they'll be there and we can come up with all the excuses in the world. But how does it doesn't help us to, you know, so we might as well not do it, you know. So, you know, I just really challenge each and every single one of you to, you know, break down whatever it is that you want to do and just figure out what is the next step that you can do. And then and commit yourself to just at least doing one step 
every single week, you know, I mean, every single day, just doing one thing towards um, whatever your goal is, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, just do one thing towards it every day. So if you want to write a book, just commit to writing one page every single day. You know, figuring out what's the easiest path for you to go ahead and get started and not getting not allowing yourself to get tied up in, oh, I need a business plan. Oh, I need to get incorporation paper. No, go ahead and just get started. See if you even like whatever it is that you're trying to do, because the worst thing is for you to go ahead and get you a logo, get you business cards and letterheads and all this stuff designed for a business that once you get started, you realize that that's not really what it is that you want to do. At least go ahead and get started start it first, get it rolling, see if there is um, a, a viable business path. And then once you do that, then now if you want to go back and get all those other things, you can go ahead and, and, and get all those other things. All right. So I challenge you, I challenge everybody that's watching this video, find something that you want to do that maybe you thought was just like so out of your reach. Figure out how to break it down, right, into very small, small, small chunks or chips, okay? And then just go ahead and get started. And I promise you, if you do that and you can stay consistent in your action at putting a little bit of work towards it every single day, trust me, you'll get it done. And you'll look back and be like, wow, I can't believe I actually did that. All right? Thank you much. And until next week.